There, boys and girls and children of all ages, Fat Bash Wannabe Buddha coming at you today. As you can see in the background, there's Glenn Beck and his right wing watching. Well, I have I noticed I haven't been talking about politics that much. I've been mainly streaming a lot of Hearthstone, and last night was the first night I figured out how to um, stream Civ properly. I got several things of Civ on my desktop that are bl basically blank screens. I got almost four hours of just tape. That is just me talking. Unfortunately, there's no no pictures behind it, so I can't use it. But anyway, what's very interesting about that is the different communities. I hate to tell everybody something, but Hearthstone is basically Candy Crush. That's what it is. I love playing it. It's a free game. I'm not going to spend a dime on it, but it's Candy Crush. It isn't that complicated. If you got the cards, you can win. If you pr properly prepare your deck. And all you got to do is just go online and get a pre-made deck. So what's hilarious about the two communities is I figured out how to post on Reddit just recently. And don't worry, I'm going to get to the politics in a second. But I figured out how to post on Reddit. So I've been posting a lot, a lot on Reddit. And the, the Hearthstone people hate me. They absolutely hate me. My, my videos are crap. I'm crap. I'm fat. I'm ugly. I'm worthless. I don't know how to play this game. It's re rather really sad. But then I remind myself there are 15-year-old kids playing Candy Crush, and th that's what they are. What's very interesting is last night I um, posted my first um, Civ video up, and I posted it to one of the little forums inside um, for Civ, and I expected that community to rip me to shreds because I know how to play Civ. I'm actually okay at Civ, and the video quality that I put forth last night was absolutely atrocious when you compare it to someone like Mad Gen or Quill18 or Golf Freak, or there's a thousand other people that are doing great Let's Plays of Civ. But, but it didn't happen. They didn't rip me, rip me to shreds. They were actually quite supportive of me in my first effort at recording Civ. Now, the Hearthstone kids, they hate me, but they're playing Candy Crush for kids. Cards. What it is. Anyway, the day I was, I was recording or trying to figure out how to record and fix some of the videos and see if I could salvage some of it. And in the background, I had Alex Jones on and doing my right wing watch for the day, my right wing videos. I, I, I can't, I'm really worried about copyright infringement, so I'm not going to post a um, stream of um, Alex Jones, which I thought might be really funny, me commentating right over what he was saying. But he's basically implying that there should be a revolution, that we, we should overthrow the government. And, and there, there's something... There's very something peculiar happening in the right wing consciousness that I, I, I wanted to exemplify the paranoid style. And then I seen this right wing watch right here and um, the Glenn Beck was talking on um, the basic talk importance of Alex Jones. And let, let me play it for it and then commentate real quick on it. Let's, let's see what Beck's got to say. This is his morning show that he talks to his advisors. And I would really love to be in that in that room. Wouldn't you really love to have to go to the ball, uh, to a meeting with a guy dressed with a cross on his hat? And let, let's see what he has to say. Let's see. Northwood. Anybody heard of that? This North is absolutely amazing. We're getting into the um, Cuban Missile Crisis, and we need to go in and we need to hammer Cuba. Hammer Cuba. So the Pentagon and everybody comes up with Operation Northwood which is get some MiGs, paint them Cuban, and go in and bomb the United States. Our pilots using MiGs, false flag, it went all the way up to the president and they presented it to him and said, Mr. President, you know we have to act. You know that this is a danger to us. We have to act. Mm. It was Kennedy that said, are you out of your mind? No, we're not doing that. Now, is anybody sitting here telling me that Chris Christie or Barack Obama would say that? If it served their purposes, ends justify the means, I'm not sure Operation Northwood doesn't happen. I love that. I just love that clip. Because, you know, this false flag, this op Operation Northwood is the uh, um, favorite talking point of a certain element in the society that believes 9-11 was an inside job. That's right. There was a secret cabal to blow up the Twin Towers. I wonder, I wonder if Glenn Beck is trying to do a little dog whistles that, 
you know, that he supports that concept right there, but he can't really say it. The whole right wing is sort of gone off the rails. This is mainstream talking points as far as the conservative movement is concerned currently, that the United States government's presidents itself would absolutely attack its own citizenry in order to extend the, 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 the great control that they have over people. You know, there was a recently on, on some of the Alex Jones on um, talking points that there was a nuclear device that blew up in South Carolina or was going to blow up in the harbors of South Carolina and it was stopped. And, and that's how Barack Obama was going to declare martial law. This is this great stew and cabal for a group of people that are fundamentally losing power. Demographics are changing. Um, older, aging, white, rural America is slowly but surely meeting father time, and they're losing their power, privilege, and prestige in the society, and they're actually quite worried about it. And to prove that point, let me just show you one thing real quick. Let's go into, now hopefully you can see this. Um, where's the, um, here's... Glenn the Beck. heritage of Christianity in the military is under attack. They took the Christian ethics Christianity out. One of the first things attack. this president did. It's becoming increasingly more difficult now for soldiers to pray in public and share their faith with others. Bibles are being banned from Walter Reed Medical Center. How? Excuse me. What? And some soldiers are being taught that they shouldn't join Christian groups like the AFA, American Families Association, because they're a hate group. I want to make it very clear. I'm not suggesting that you have to be a Christian to be in the military, but, um, but I will state you can't be a Christian and be in the military. I will state that quite loudly and proudly because Christians are inherently pacifist. The United States military's job is to break stuff and kill people. Sometimes it's a good idea to break stuff and kill people. That's what the military does, but Christians can't do that you do have to have is a moral set of standards and for most people those moral lines come from God. God gives, okay. gives us moral lines, natural rights and natural laws that everyone can agree on. When you erase God or nature's God and nature's law and you take them out of the picture, you erase our moral standards. And There are absolutely no morality in nature. There's absolutely no morality in nature. That is a human concept predicated upon empathy, morality is. And maybe some higher level um, mammals can show signs of morals and stuff, empathy, but the actual laws, that's a human construct. A society with no moral compass will not last. Now, I want you to combine what you know about the dissolving of our ethical and moral structures with this new piece of information that came out this weekend. Google has increasingly positioned itself as a key contractor for the U.S. military. So now Google, do no evil, is now part of the industrial complex, working closely with the NSA now for at least six years that we know of. And now they are expanding their ties to the U.S. defense as they have purchased at least eight robotics company that we know of with the sole purpose of supplying the U.S. military with these things. Oh, okay. That doesn't. Robots that are humanoid. Humanoid robots. That's good. Did, did, any, did anybody see the... Did you guys see the Star Wars where Emperor Palpatine was like, Yes, just as I have foreseen. Oh, there they are. Look, the humanoid robots. A giant technology company ingratiating itself and ingraining itself into the U.S. military... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think that probably ends very well. Have, have we seen the movies? You remember Terminator? Uh, there's another one. See, he comes back, says, Where is John Connor? Yeah, I don't believe in time travel. Wish I did, but nobody's going to come in from the future and say, Where is John Connor's mother? If you're John Connor's mother, please teach him what the future is. It's not good. I love that. Remind, remind his audience that the future is not good because they're old, they're dying, and they are on their way out. He is absolutely turned into Alex Jones.
he's he's Alex Jones now. This is really great. There was one more clip. Um, where is? Let's go to the right wing watch page itself. Um, here it is. I love this. Play this. This, this is, is the most incredible this is the fear. audio or video I this have right heard. This right here is the fear that underlines This is 54 years ago. This is Miami Day. White America and the, 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 the entire fear. There may be some in this auditorium. Of the society. It's the county There may be some here today that will be movement. homosexual in the future. There are a lot of kids here. There may be some girls that will turn lesbian. We don't know. This but is. it's serious. Don't kid yourselves about it. They can be anywhere. They can be judges, lawyers. We ought to know we've arrested all of them. What? So if any one of you have let yourself become involved with an adult homosexual or with another boy, and you're doing this on a regular basis, you better stop quick. Just remind yourself, folks, we've came a long way. That's the 1950s and that, that recording's from. Also, remember in 2004, the George Bush administration basically won re-election by getting a lot of ballot initiatives that were basically anti-gay and right now most of the country is going to accept gay marriage it is amazing how quickly you know times have you know changed and quick that we've expanded empathy immensely in just the, just the past 15 20 years but certain people are worried about that because one out of three of you will turn queer oh <laughs> And if we catch you Wait, what? That's just so cool. <laughs> with a homosexual, your parents are going to know about it first. And you will be caught. Don't think you won't be caught. Because this is one thing you cannot get away with. This is one thing that if you don't get caught by us, you'll be caught by yourself. And the rest of your life will be a living hell. Oh, my God. Is that unreal? It's, un I, it's absolutely unreal. I've never heard anything like it. I've, I've never, never really, seen That's never fascism. Heard. I'm notice that they haven't ever heard anything like that, and they are supposed to be history buffs. That, for a large portion of the society, was mainstream American thought about what homosexuality was like. There's a whole bunch of ideas that were deemed uns unspeakable and outside the mainstream. And the people that support those ideas are now pretty much dying and slowly aging. That. that is hetero fascism. Was he That's saying what that is? They've arrested people because they're homosexual. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sodomy was against the sodomy was against the law. Sodomy is still illegal in a lot of states in this country. Oh, so. get, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, that's true. Um, uh, so yeah. that is hetero fascism right there. Wow. That's what that is. Now, tell me <sighs> that the same is not going to be said 50. Well, let's make it 65 years because we're on this road in the other direction. In 65 years, if that's 55 years ago, in 65 years from now, will the same be said of the left who's saying, let me tell you right now, if there's any of you caught with any of your religious material, is there any of you caught the saying that a marriage between a man and a woman is right, mm -hmm. that a family should be made of a mother and a father, you're not going to get away with it. We're headed down the same track, except in reverse. Don't do it. This was wrong. This was wrong. And everybody who hears that, hopefully, has the same reaction. Oh, my gosh, that guy was a monster. But ask yourself, are you becoming a monster in the opposite direction? There it is, right there, boys and girls. The secret dark, dark fear that drives a conservative movement. Um, and that is they absolutely terrified that everything that they did, all the little groups that were out, want to happen to them. That's the deep, dark fear. But just notice how much he turns in on that paranoid style. He absolutely marinates his audience in it. This is, you know, this used to be relegated to. The Alex Jones or the William Coopers. This is now mainstream conservatism. This is the old Bircher talking points is now on the national stage and is the core representation of the conservative movement in America. You know, Alex Jones is mainstream America right now as far as the conservative movement is concerned. That should worry you. Anyway, as a fat bash wanna be Buddha, um, giving you a little talk my thoughts on politics recently. It's a, a hodgepodge um, smash up. I'm curious if this hodgepodge smash up um, style works. Hope you got something out of that. This is the Fat Bastard Wannabe Buddha.
Have a good day.